Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We're still on the Steam version because I completely forgot to, uh, <laughs> to try to switch over to the GOG version, so I had to play the Will It Work Roulette today, and it actually worked. I suppose since we're here, we can start by trying the face off against next duelist. I don't think... Oh, can we transit from here? No, we have to... I don't think we're going to win, but, uh, nope, it's the other one, but I do just want to try it just to see where we stack up combat wise. You must gather your party before venturing forth. There we go. Oh, Zerka Corporation. <laughs> we'll be getting very familiar with them. There we go. And now we can head straight back in. I suppose for this part, we can probably just save over our existing saves since that just brings us back up to full health. All right, Ajur. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather not be famous, but sure. <laughs> Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. As a legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two, let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you a mysterious stranger. Okay, so he actually... Interesting. He uses a melee as his primary. What? Okay, so... He just frickin' stunned us right away, which I think that's a special move. Okay, yeah. So, like, I thought we weren't quite up to the task. But that's fine. We have plenty of other things to do. Let's see. Bendex, Bounty, Karth, Brackle, Serum. Hmm... Well, I don't feel like playing Pazic right now. So I think we're going to uh, go back down to the lower city and we're going to meet the, um, the whatchamacallums, the, what are the gangs, the nice ones, as nice as a gang can be, I suppose. Uh, not the Vulkers, um, uh, shit, who, who are they? I can't, it's been a week, I can't remember their name. Oh, not in there. Or is it in Search for Bastila? No. I can't remember the name. It's only been a week, too. It makes me a little upset. I went the wrong way, I think. Wait, that's our apartment. There's the cantina. No, I went the right way, because this should take us to the other side of the, the uh, upper city. There we go. There we go. And actually, we may as well 
do this now and get it out of the way. We'll switch over to our Sith armor so we can fool the guard. And hey, if we're lucky, uh, maybe it'll respawn some of the black Vulkers down there and we can kill them for experience. This, how far, how far away are we from leveling up? Uh, 4K, so Listen we've got a ways yet. Hey, how's it going? I'm just gonna move right past you. All right, so now we can go Back to our Chani Fiber Armor and his Republic Mod Armor. Uh, right, he's going to stick with the military suit for now. Once we improve our Republic Mod Armor, then we'll... Uh, then we can... Uh, any respawns in here? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Which is kind of what I figured. This game... I think generally this game isn't huge on respawns. If they do respawn, it's only after you make, like, story progress. And we haven't really made a lot of story progress lately. We've been doing a lot of uh, side questing, so... Okay, car's right with us, so we can just transit back. Other than Pazak, I think we've pretty much done everything we can do in the cantina. Hidden backs, that's what they're called. I think I did... Was it the... Right, it's the elevator to the Undercity that lies this way. And the other end is the uh, Black Vulcan base, so we'll go to the Hidden Backs for now. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the Hidden Back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? I need Gadon's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcra Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcars or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're going to let me in? Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Bex are watching you. They're watching me. Hi everyone, I'm the new guy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Inkin kuno bamuli rachi kun slima bodonna rundi hodonga kun honkabi. So things are uh, getting pretty bad around here, it seems. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gat? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulkar spy. Hello. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Alright, uh... Doo -doo 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 -doo. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. 
and the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. I want to ask you some questions. I don't see any harm in that. What did you want to know? Is there something wrong with your eyes? Uh, very tactful. Uh, are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zerdra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulkers. What do you mean? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulkers. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulker gang. Sounds like Brezhik is acting like a spoiled brat. Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the Lower City gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. I want to ask you something else. I don't see any harm in that. What did you want to know? Why are Brezhik and the Vulkers at war with you? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone okay, assumed so I would just... step down, but with my inner rage. But why start a gang war with the Bex? Brezhik is a proud man. Okay. Don't fool Same dialogue. I ask you something else. Is there any way off this planet? Not while the Sith quarantine is in place. Even the fastest smuggler ships can't break the blockade of the fleet surrounding the planet without the proper launch codes. Any ship leaving the terrace atmosphere without the proper codes would be instantly disintegrated by blaster cannons fired by the Sith fleet's automated targeting systems. I want to ask you something else. I don't see any harm in that. What did you want to know? I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulkers, and that's okay in my book. The Vulkers stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulkers found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulkers aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila is a slave? What will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulkers would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulker base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulker scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. 
A swoop brace? What does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Volker's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. How do I enter the swoop race? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Vulker base? Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Isn't there someone else who can help me? Don't underestimate Mission or her Wookiee friend Zalbar. They're a formidable pair. Tough enough to go exploring the undercity by themselves. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. What do you want with the Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Okay, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I'll be back when I get the prototype accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Alright, so now we don't have to change uniforms ever again. And we can explore here, I guess. Uh... Let me just save here, because I don't know if... No problem. Didn't work. Impossible. Okay. Well, at least it didn't turn them hostile. Are you, you any? Speak to Gadden if you want, but I. Okay. You're not any more cooperative. Control room. No problem. Didn't work. Impossible. Standard door. There's a club back here. Ion grenade, sonic grenade. Those will be useful. Since we're allies and all, I'm sure you don't mind sharing. Sounds like a nightclub over here. No problem. Didn't work. Impossible. Okay. All right, is, let's see what else we can explore, though. I assume that stuff might, like, unlock if you go hostile to the Hidden Bex, but I've never gone hostile to the Hidden Bex because they're just really the only good option. You know, make use of the locals no problem. and all that. Didn't work. Locked, then we can't get back there. All right. Um... 
Like, I feel like the hidden backs, just from the way everyone speaks of them, they aren't the worst gang. Like, they're more closer to the idea of, like, you hear sometimes about how gangs form to, um, to kind of, like, help protect the populace, you know, to serve as, like, an impromptu police force and disaster response force and stuff. I think the impression I get from the hidden backs is that they are closer to that than like what we think of as a gang, you know, like I'm, I'm sure they occasionally engage in some dubious stuff, such as the way of things like obviously the they're doing the swoop racing, which is of questionable legality and stuff. And but um, I get the feeling they're generally pretty OK. And now I'm curious if we can walk in the front door. I don't think we'll make it far even if we do manage to get in. This door cannot be opened from the outside. You will have to find another means into the Volker base. What? Oh, I can't even use my hack skill on it. OK, I thought I could. All right. I thought maybe they'd let you walk in or like lockpick the door, but then it would just be really hard. Uh, but I guess they're making us go through the Undercity first. Uh, search for Bastila. Harris, Gad and Thak, leader of the Hidden Beck Swoop Gang, will help you get Bastila back if you recover a prototype swoop accelerator stolen by the rival Black Bulkers. He suggested you look for Mission Vow in the Undercity or the sewers to help you get in. All right. And quest items. Oh, we have all the Twisted Rancor trio counts as a quest item. So is the Posic deck and the side deck. Uh, Sith Papers. These official looking papers identify the bearer as being on special assignment by order of the Sith government of Tars. They also warn of gruesome penalties for anyone foolish enough to challenge the bearer. Nice. Using that military dictatorship to our advantage. Hopefully they have it like they don't have like special codes for each document and they can't just say, oh, hey, this document is invalid because that patrol we lost contact with. But I guess we'll find out. All right. So we go down into the Undercity. So no need to throw ourselves. Oh, all right. That's the other apartment set. We've already been through there. So no need to throw our bodies against his turrets. We can just walk past him now after a brief conversation, of course. There's so many turrets, too. Ooh, I can talk to the blaster turrets. Oh, anyways. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I want to ask you some questions. I'm not here to answer your questions. My orders are to guard the elevator. Now either show me the proper security papers or move along. I've got my security papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. OK, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Will do. Move along. Move along. Really? I honestly think subtitles... Subti having subtitles on makes for the more cinematic experience. You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Where are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. 
Oh, you poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Dax Star. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? It's nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Where can I find Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Where can I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Have any other Upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Tell me about this village. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. All right. So I guess we can start making the rounds down here. We got a new hub, and apparently I have to use that ramp. <laughs> you talk to old Rukul Wrinkleskin? My mommy says he's crazy. I have to stay away from him. No, I haven't talked to him, actually. And of course, the thing they really want to draw your eye to is over here, I believe. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Who are you? I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. 
It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rat ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I want to ask you some questions. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. He's the leader of this village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. I want to ask you some if questions. If you have questions, you should... Oh, but dis uh, okay, what are you the talking about? Infect so you for the Nothing... No... I'm going through those gates to try and help the infected ones. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rock ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. Alright, journal entry added. Infected outcast, Terrace. Several of the outcasts have been infected with the rat ghoul disease. They have been placed in quarantine away from the others so that when they transform into rat ghouls, they won't ravage the rest of the village. Alright. So this is this is supposed to be like your first warning about the rat ghouls. Please help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment we could. Uh, no, this cannot. No. There we go. That'll make things a little easier. Obviously, as a melee character, this isn't great for me. Unfortunately, we don't take... Uh... I don't know why you ran up to them, Karth. Now, we obviously take damage. Let's see if there's an explanation. Obviously, we're poisoned now, so we have... Uh, I think we have, like, less defense and stuff. But, if I... Right, yeah, we can return to the hideout. And we're magically cured because... Main character plot armor, fuck yeah! We ain't gonna turn into no reckles. Hey guys, what's up? Please, you have to help us, we beg you! We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. You you will help us? Bless you, Upworlder. But you must hurry. We have the Rack Ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. And soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into these horrible Rack Ghouls ourselves. Don't worry, I'll be back when I find a cure for you. Please hurry, Upworlder. We don't have much time until the transformation. Don't forget about us, Upworlder. If you find any way to cure us of this disease, please come back and help us. Do you... do you have the cure, Upworlder? Have you come to save us from the horrible fate of the others? Don't worry, I'll be back when I find a cure for you. Please hurry, Upworlder. We don't have much time until the transformation. Don't forget about us, Upworlder. If you find any way to cure this disease, please come back and help us. You have my word that we will be back as soon as we have the cure. Goodbye. Back again? Is there something else you need? No. Farewell. I guess not. <laughs> I was going to see if she had anything to say about the, um, about those rat ghouls attacking us. Let's see, can we go in here at all? Nope. All right. Come on, there we go. Sounds like blaster fire in the distance. Rukiel and Gendar, how convenient that you're both right here. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? 
or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy, the beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Easy, Karth. He's not going to harm anyone. Look at him. Look at how old he is. Uh, okay, then. Could I ask you some questions? A question? You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinklesken, the children call me sometimes. I'm that star. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. The true path? What does that mean? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Prove myself? How can I do that? My apprentice is... Lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will help you with this, Rukil. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. We do know about the Promised Land already, if that's what you're worried about. All right, Rukiel's apprentice, Taurus. Rukiel of the Outcast Village has asked you to discover the fate of his missing apprentice, a young woman named Malia. She never returned from a mission Rukiel sent her on some time ago, though he refuses to tell you what she was searching for when she left the village. And actually, just real quick, I turn. Oh, I do not remember the music being that high. I thought I had turned that down already. Oh, I can't force EAX to be on. That's fine. We're going to turn down the music just because I use voice isolation um, to kind of bring out the voices and dialogue, but still the I'd rather just the music be lower. <laughs> All right, now let's talk to Gendar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we manage to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. What a horrible way to live. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rue Kill. Rukil. The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. 
Tell me more about the Rackles that live down here. The Rackles are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I want to ask you some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vow. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. I want to ask you some more questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Tell me about the rat ghouls that live down here. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of... We know of no... Okay. That we went through that dialogue already. Uh, you said something about other Upworlders who came by here recently. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Think I'll be going now? As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. All right, so we didn't get too much useful information out of him other than the uh, location of the sewers, but we'll be searching everywhere anyways. Uh, I just want to look at the map. Okay, so we have Ingar's Bazaar that we're... Ah, here he is. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the Upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. How do you manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. I want to ask you some questions. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Why doesn't Gendar like you? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? That's a pretty selfish attitude. Hey! You don't know what it's like down here. I have to claw and scrape to survive. Nobody else will look out for me. But Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, okay. You're obviously a not great guy. Let's see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. I'm not fond of, uh... Of giving him any money, but let's see what he has. A Chani battle armor... Let's see, seven. Well, that's more credits than we can than we have. 
long survivor sword arcanian heavy pistol interesting uh this might be worth it for oh there's a decent vibration cell i think we already have that in our weapon uh so like this can stabilize melee weapon allowing it to hit and damage better and possibly gain other effects and the scope i know we have one already okay the arcanian heavy pistol is not upgradable none of these really are he has some posit cards not willing to pay, pay for those right now retinal combat implant immunity to critical hits skill awareness plus one its ocular implant greatly increases visual acuity allowing the user to better track enemy movement in combat. General awareness will improve as well. Could be useful. Let's buy the Arcanian Heavy Pistol. Arcanian designs of this kind predated mass acceptance of heavier pistols, but 2,000 years later, they are still superior performers, which shows you just how slow technology moves in the Star Wars universe. And yeah, now we don't have enough credits or anything else. You... Better share some of those credits with the village I gear. All right. So right now he just has uh, a heavy blaster, which does a D8 of energy damage, range 23 meters, uh, crits on a 20 for double damage, is balance plus two plus zero. So the Arcanian heavy pistol. Gives him a D8 plus one damage with the same range, same crit, crit on a 20 for double damage. And it's plus two plus zero to hit bounds. And it has a plus one attack modifier. So you see our two hit actually doesn't change surprisingly. I would have expected that to, ch to change, but maybe, oh, I suppose the plus zero maybe, but. It does add one to the, his damage output, so. And then as far as his armor goes right now, this is six and plus three. So that other armor would have been better because I think that was seven. The, the Achani battle armor would have been seven and plus three. Which that might be what we do instead of this Republic mod armor. Maybe we could take that instead of the Achani Fiber Armor. Because max, let's see, 5 and plus 4. Oh no, the Achani Fiber is better. As <laughs> much as I might like it. So that gives Karth a little more damage. And we're going to save here real quick. Gameplay, what does that do? Oh. Difficulty fine. Okay, that's the elevator. That's where we came from. I'm getting turned around. So I think that's generally all there is to do in the village. I'll probably fill out the auto map later, but I do want to get a little bit outside the village and explore. Help! It's right behind me! Help! Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rat Ghouls are so near! Open the gate. I will kill the Rat Ghouls. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Hurry! While the gate is still open, you must save Hindar! All right. Time to rumble. 
Uh oh. How'd you like that? <laughs> He's just trying to infect everyone at this point. Does that count as saving him, even though he's technically infected? Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Who are you? I'm Trellin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the Rat Ghouls. I want to ask you some questions. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Goodbye. Goodbye, Upworlder. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Uh, you don't want to talk to me? All right, that's fine. Uh, okay, so I guess we did save him. Let's return, heal, come back. You know the drill by now. All right. So let's check our map out. So if we keep following the way we're going, we'll find a sewer entrance. But I suppose first. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Vex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa, well, slow down, mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, Mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Why don't you ask Gaddon and the Bex to help you? I can't ask Gaddon. He's always telling me not to go into the Undercity. He says it's too dangerous with the Rat Ghouls and Gamorians and all. He'll never send his Bex down there. If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to get me inside the Volker base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined your party. All right. So she is a level three yeah. smuggler, and we can level her up. Huh? Oh. All right, so she's a smuggler like us. So for her attribute, uh, point cost. Yeah, we're basically just going to. Ooh, we can put one point in the wisdom. Uh, and that will it would help her saving throws against force powers, but. We're not fighting force users right now, so we'll just put it into dexterity. And then for skills. Uh, we can put it into awareness. Security. Stealth. Demolitions. And I guess 
That's what it's going to be. Because everything else is a cross-class skill. Okay, so we can spend those next time we get a level, except... 14 intelligence. What's my intelligence? 12. So she actually has a higher modifier than me. Uh, so we're immediately going to give her an energy shield. We can give her... The combat suit is what was her her dexterity is plus three. She's got a regular blaster pistol, but she uses a vibro blade. Interesting. Working with few resources, Mission Bow turned this basic vibro blade into an exceptional weapon, almost as adaptable as she is. Does that mean it's upgradable? Yep, upgradable melee. So it seems interesting. It seems they're trying to build her. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Well, I guess she's... Uh, let's see what her other stuff is. Feats. What does she have for feats? Light armor proficiency. Caution. Critical strike. Melee attacks, sniper shot, range attacks, blaster pistol proficiency, blaster rifle proficiency, melee weapon proficiency, sneak attack one and two, scoundrels luck, and dueling. I guess for now, let's see. So she gets a plus four to hit. Oh, she gets a plus seven from that. Fuck. Okay, you're using Heavy Blaster then. <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, you can't. You have to dual wield melee or dual wield physical. You can't go both. So I think we're going to go with a single blaster pistol. Look at that. Look at that smuggler pose. Ready. Sure. All right. Um. Is her vibro blade better than mine? One to ten plus two physical. Four to thirteen. Five to fourteen. No, I assume it's just it's equivalent to like the upgradable vibro blade. Uh, we got some Sith over there. Let's go pester them. Now we have uh, another party member. Maybe we can get a Rackle Serum off of them. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. You said you lost one patrol already. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. You just follow your orders and keep looking. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just... Talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. I do kind of want to kill them, but. Hato doesn't let you, like, do combat. Alright. Well, they might take care of some rackles before they die. So, we've got that working for us. Uh, so he said. 
they were in the southern portion of the city. So we're going to change tack and go south and see if we can find some of these uh, Sith patrols. And hey, is that Ordo? Candorous Ordo? Don't, don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pots. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Who are you? That's Candorous Ordo. He's the most famous Mandalorian mercenary in this sector of the galaxy. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candorous, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. All right, uh, I guess we'll use our last frag grenade and then we'll do that. You can just shoot from a distance and same with you. You guys don't need to like charge in and then shoot. Come on, move in. Hey, we got some light side points for that. And it killed two of his men, so that's loot for us. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion... Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. What do you know about the lower city gangs? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately, the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. I better get going now. Stay safe. Come on, boys. Let's move out. He came down here with nine other men and only one survived. Okay, well, time to loot him. Frag grenade. Hey, we got our frag grenade back. Is that, is that it? Is that all our loot? I guess so. This is where I'm not afraid to use frag grenades to kind of soften them up. Yeah. Oh, hey, she leveled up again. Uh, skills. Demolition, stealth. Awareness, security, and we can level up one cross class skill. So she has high intelligence, so that's probably the one to level up. Oh, if we had leveled up wisdom, then this would have been more effective, I guess. Uh, as far as feats go, she now has sneak attack three. Critical strike. So that's must be what that guy used on me earlier. Um, 
Here, we'll give her improved dueling. Is that... Excuse me. That will give her another plus one attack and defense. Uh, continue focus on the use of single hand, one handed weapons. Grants a character plus two to attack. Excuse me, and plus two to defense. This applies to both ranged and melee weapons. So now we can see our two hit is plus eight, and our defense is 21. And we didn't take any damage during that encounter. Oh, nope. is that what I want to do? Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay, I was hoping for a little more... Poison grenade? Sure, why not? Uh, you guys, just, you don't have to run with me. Just shoot that one. And actually, you know what? We'll you deal with this one. There we go. Now, we can all attack this one. Which they've already got a head start on. And... Okay, we'll let them catch up to us. Hello. You guys attack from here. Ready? And now, actually, Karth... I want you to use a sonic grenade and then hit that guy. You can just keep hitting that guy and we will use this guy. All right, so it doesn't. Uh... OK, so it's only a chance of damage, it looks like, or a chance of being poisoned Ready? from uh from their attacks. It's not like a guaranteed thing. All right, outcast corpse. Two antidote kit, promised land apprentice journal. All right, well, that must be uh, minor frag mine. Credits. Sure. Okay, so let us return the hideout and return back so we can heal and also uh, be able to move again. Oh, hi. No, nope, that's not what I want. We'll use a sonic grenade and then uh, I didn't think it was going to respawn them just like that, but sure. Okay, mission took a little damage, but that's fine. Okay, we can't uh, loot those. Let's see. Can we recover the mine? Are we skilled enough for that yet? Huh? She should be able to recover it. Ooh, she is danger close there. There we go. So now we can start adding those to our inventory. Skeletal corpse. There we go. There's a different one. Right into the med pack. I think we looted that one already. Outcast corpse and rubble. I think we looted these, but I'll double check. What is this? Oh, yeah. Because now we can lay down frag mines now that we can start collecting those. And who are you? Rusted sentry droid. Oh. Uh, let's see. Reactivate the droid. 
droid is now active. It'll attack any enemies that come in range. Engage droid in repair mode or patrol mode. Patrol mode engage. Once you end the session, the droid will begin patrol and destroy any enemies it encounters. Get three parts left. Not enough to do anything. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your program instructions. So we gained a little bit of experience for that, but used up a lot of our parts. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about it, and I think what I'm going to do for now is while the Arcanian Blaster increases his damage, it didn't really affect his hit chance. So if we switch him back to... Oh, okay. This is going to be a little cumbersome. So if we switch her back to her Vibro Blade, we can switch him back to the Arcanian, to the Heavy Blaster which doesn't affect his two hit, but it does reduce his damage by one. But if I then give her the Arcanian Heavy Blaster, that gives her a plus nine to hit and enhances her damage. So I think that is going to optimize our party a little bit better. Where are we? We got to keep going south. Uh, one thing we can read though real quick. Um... Where is it? You found the journal of Rukio's apprentice near her corpse. You should return to the old man in the outcast village to tell him of her fate and to deliver the journal to him. Promised Land Apprentice Journal. The journal details the search for the promised land carried out by Rukio's apprentice. Most of the entries are mundane. However, the last entry is quite interesting. I've uncovered evidence that others have been seeking out the fabled land and that their tracks or that their treks have led them into the sewers. I've decided that I must go there as well. Okay, I want to do a little more searching. So, uh, is this south? I'm assuming the uh, map is... going to be... Uh... Oh, there's no way to go here really though. So we'll have to come back the way we came since this seems the kind of dead end. Rubble, I don't know. Did we loot this already? Yeah. Oh, there's the lower sewer. So this is the north entrance to that. So we're going to avoid that for now. Because what I want to do Oh, hey, there's people. Okay, what? I need her to recover this mine. And while she yes. does that, we will use combat mode and take out this Black Volker. Oh, I think she just, she overrode her, our instructions. Oh, we took some damage there. That was fun. Wow. Oh. This guy's actually pretty meaty from an AC standpoint. Ow. Wait, don't kill me. I surrender. I surrender. You better answer my questions if you want to live. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Who do you work for? I work for Brezhik, head of the Black Volker Gang. He told us to kill anyone who came snooping around. Were there any survivors at this crash site? There was one survivor, a female Republic officer. Bastilla or something like that. Brezhik took her back to the Black Volker base as his prisoner. How can I get inside the Black Volker base? You can't. Nobody can. They'll shoot you on sight. Even I couldn't get you in. They just shoot us both if we show up there together. There has to be some way in. Well, you could talk to the hidden Vex. They're our biggest rival. They might know some way to get in. Look, that's all I know, I swear. Please, just let me go, and I promise you'll never see me again. He looks like he has a fancy sword, but... Okay, get out of here before I change my mind. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm out of here. I'm actually a little bit survived. We surprised yeah. we survived that. We're going to recover these mines, and then I think we're going to go back and heal. Because these will probably be useful to us later for setting ambushes and the like. Let's 
nice to have two high awareness uh, members in the party because then that's two people making awareness rolls on seeing minds and stuff. So if one of us misses, we're more likely to catch it. Republic soldier. What? Okay, let's return the hideout. Heal. We desperately need a level up and a stat boost. If I can get one more dexterity point, I think we'll be okay. Or like upgrades to our armor. But we really need to up our defense. Help. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing. Like some kind of hideous disease. Wait here, I'll see if I can find something to help you. No! No! I can feel it! Oh. Well, he got rackled. All right, everyone. Oh, what? I. Sure. But, yes, I know. I'm trying to. Everyone open fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he hit card. Okay, how much more? Oh, we got quite a ways to go, but here's an escape pod. All right, Karth, you're going to have to tough it out a little bit. We can head back, but... Okay, if we've got that much combat up ahead, maybe I won't have them tough it out. Oh yeah, lots of combat everywhere. So, transit back. Transit forward. All right. Let's see anything here. We'll just kind of hug the walls. Yes. Yeah. All right, they should follow me in. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Sure. Uh -huh. There, now she has sure. eyes on that. All right, everyone focus fire. Nice. Huh? All right. Uh, open fire. He can't see. And it up oh, there we go. Sure. There we go. That's a, why is she running up to him? You're a ranged character. Stay away. Twenty creds in a med pack. All right. Tr ret yeah. Return to hideout. Transit back so I can move again. Oh no. We've got the glowy skins now. I wonder what causes that. Is this a uh, sewer? What is? It looks like it's supposed to be a door, but. I guess we'll move and clear this out. I suppose the skin is basically going to be my sign that I really need to. Uh, end the session because it's going been going on for a while. Oh, Karth is way behind. Yes. All right. Ow, he took out half my health. All right. 
Actually, you know what? I think the situation is precarious enough. Oh, I don't have a sonic grenade? Okay. Fine. Poison grenade and then attack. Sure. Well, I Ready? hope he got that poison grenade off. Yep. Huh? So that should reduce their stats. There we go. And we can level Karth up. So as far as skills, he gets one point. Uh, I guess that will be treat injury. Feats, uh, improved to weapon fighting. We can't add master to weapon fighting yet. Improved power attack, improved power blast, meh. Okay, uh, heavy weapons, melee weapons, improved toughness, dueling, we can't use because he uses dual weapon. Character is very resilient. This feat subtracts two points from any damage suffered. The character retains plus one vitality point per level granted by toughness. That seems like a good deal. Make him a uh, kind of a tank. So, okay, so that's another sewer entrance. We have a skeletal corpse here. Sith soldier. Antidote kit, beam splitter, med pack, heavy combat suit, blaster rifle, and rack ghoul serum. Alright, so we found the Sith at least. That lost Sith patrol. So we have what we need now. Sure. So actually, we're going to transit back to the hideout. All right, I'm glad uh, the save was not corrupted, this autosave. That'll save me a little bit, probably. All right, so... Actually, wait for our party to catch up. Huh? There we go. So, yeah, it crashed. Uh, unfortunately so uh, we got to redo this fight but other than that not too terribly bad actually since they're focusing on him we should focus on him all right let's see okay i don't care what you're shooting at now you are shooting at that Hearth, same deal. Focus your attention on that Rack Ghoul. We should be able to survive for a little bit. There we go. Hey, we did that without damage. Isn't that nice? Oh. And we have this friendly boy over here. Focus your firepower, gentlemen. There we go. And of course, now I can't move, but that's fine. We'll reloot these corpses. And then I think we're going to end it uh, soon. There's going to be a couple things um, that we're going to turn in, and I think that'll be it. So, Rackle Serum Terrace, you've acquired a sample of Rackle Serum. This could be very valuable to the right people. And then if we show quest items. Promised an apprentice journal we read already. Rackwool serum, a vial of greenish bubbling liquid. So now we are going to return the hideout. And actually, we're actually going to enter our hideout real quick. Because I think we have a new weapon mod. Yeah, so we already had the vibration cell. 
missions. Viper Blade, we can't upgrade. Arts, though, we can add the Beam Splitter, which adds plus one energy damage. So that makes up for moving the Arcanian Heavy Blaster to mission. So now it, instead of two to seven, it does three to eight for his pistol. So let's assemble that. Armor. Yeah, there's nothing we can put in there. We'll talk to them in the apartment later, probably. Let's add you and you. Because we want to get the Rat Ghoul Serum. Uh, we'll level up Karth real quick. Skills, uh, treat injury. Feet, we are going to do improved toughness. Accept clothes. What? Uh, is it the other way? No, it's definitely this way. We don't have money. Well, we should have some money, but not a ton. So I'm not going to bother visiting the store for now. So now we can go to the medical facility. Which, no, that's a store. The medical facility is at the other end. And hopefully he can provide us with some additional Rackle serums that we can immediately use on the people we find in the lower city. Or the undercity, rather. Belka. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. I have the serum to cure the Rakul disease. You have the serum? Impossible! How did you get this? No, it, wait, it, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it! A cure for the Rakgul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I could afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Keep your rewards, Elka. You need it more than I do. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. Tell you what. I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you've got for sale. Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Rackool Serum. Okay, we just get the one. Oh, uh, we're like four credits short of getting. Okay, so we got 200 experience now. Come on, let me out. So you blew it. If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, you had to go and do the honorable thing. Yep. So you can suck it. You blew it. All right, he doesn't give us any more dialogue. So now we need to go back down to the Undercity, which I think we have to do manually since we kind of went places other than our hideout. But that should hopefully, turning in the Apprentice quest and the uh, Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Don't speak to her. You decide to ignore mission and continue on with your quest for now. But you might want to speak with her later. And we will. We'll speak with her later. I just... We don't have time in this episode. I mean, I could make the time, but... I don't want this to be a three-hour episode, you know? 
I've got other episodes to record. So, anyways. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So, unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. I've got my authorization papers right here. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. All right. So now we're going to run along to the Undercity, which fortunately, if you're if you're making a straight beeline there, it's actually not too far of a trek, all things considered. All right. Also, fair warning, before we leave the planet, I will be challenging this guy to combat the guy with all the turrets just to see if they still insta-kill us or not. I assume they will, but it'd be funny if we grew strong enough to take at least one down before uh, we went down. Assuming I can even engage in dialogue again, he seems to just let us through now that he knows who we are and that we have the papers. All right, so let's head straight to... Oh, I missed it. Damn it. There we go. There she is. Be right with you, Rukio. Game as fast as I could. Do you... Do you have the cure, Upworlder? Have you come to save us from the horrible fate of the others? I brought you a serum to cure the Rackwell disease. You... You have a cure. Please, give it to me. Quickly, before it's too late. Here, take this Rackle Serum. I have enough for both of you. Quickly, I must inject it before it's too late. Yes, I feel it working. I feel the disease burning away. It's like a miracle. I am cured. Thank you, Upworlder. You have saved us from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. Republic escape pod? What are you talking about? Not long ago, an escape pod crashed in the Undercity, far to the northeast of the village. We were going to try and salvage equipment from it when we were attacked by the Rat Ghouls and infected. I'd tell you more if I could, but our salvage team never reached the pod. It's probably still there, unless some of the other Upworlders already found it and picked it clean. We should go now, Upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you have done. All right. Okay, so talking to one cures both, it seems. You amaze me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts, but you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. Goodbye. Farewell. Maybe she'll give us free healing now or something. I don't know. But we don't use healing anyways. Rukio. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? Your apprentice is dead. I have her journal. It is as I feared then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the Promised Land. Guide you? I don't even know where the Promised Land is. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. 
Very well. Tell me the history of your people. The great city of Taurus covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. That's actually pretty recent. Relatively speaking, from like a cultural practice. And I imagine that's how he came to be down here. Is that how you came to be down here? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. The Promised Land, what's that? Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps, with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have one of the journals you're looking for. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, Will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land? I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. Right. Oh, we are so shy of leveling up. The Promised Land, Terrace. Rukia believes that with his apprentice's journal and the journals of his father and grandfather, he could piece together the clues and discover the location of the Promised Land. Excuse me. He's asked you to bring the journals to him. So where is... Apparently I have a journal. Somewhere. Did I lose it when I... He said he was going to leave it with us, but it looks like I lost it. That's a little sad. I kind of wanted to read it. Maybe I can go back. Um, yes, let's save here. And then let's load the autosave. All right, just like I thought, it put us down here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. No, it's, it doesn't seem to be in our inventory at all. Maybe once we get both journals, it'll be added. And since 
We are so close to leveling up because we got to be like, what, 25 XP away? Oh, okay, 250. I do, since we were getting like 200 for the um, the rat ghouls, we're going to go out once more. I swear this episode's almost done. <laughs> and uh, I just want to head to that northeast escape pod. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. Stop him? What are you talking about? For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukal ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. That's horrible. How can you be so self-centered? Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the Promised Land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rugal's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rugal's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Forget it. I won't betray Rukio and the village for you. Don't be a fool. I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukio has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? I'll be going now. Yeah, okay. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. I like how they still kind of leave you. Like, if for whatever reason you wanted to um, still give them the journals you could, even though you told them to fuck off. Do you have dialogue now? Thank you once again for saving me from the Rat Ghouls, Upworlder. I owe you everything. As do I, Upworlder. I don't know what I would have done if anything had happened to Hindar. All right. Yes, but no. <laughs> Let's head to the northeast. Which... We might have already hit that escape pod up, it looks like. But we'll take another look. Maybe it only spawns once you save them or something. Certainly seen that happen before. But... Yeah, I don't think... Uh... We'll try coming around the other way, but I don't think anything is here, unfortunately. At least nothing that we haven't already taken. Yeah, we can't even get to the escape pod because of the pathing system here, so... Well, that's a bust. Anyways, let's kill some rat ghouls. <laughs> so I can finally level up and then we'll end this episode. Hey, rat ghoul! I only need like two of them if they're the 200 XP ones. There we go. Wow, we got a whole pack of them that respawn. All right. There we go. And we're going to move on to the next one. 
we really got to up our strength, too. Like, I'm probably going to do... Uh, I'm probably going to do intelligence for my next upgrade, but we really need to improve strength just so we can increase our two-hit chance. All right. Yes. Like now we're getting to the point where we just we aren't hitting anything. Yeah. All right. That should be enough. And ready. There we go. I think we looted these already. Yeah. Oh, I saw the position move. I thought maybe it was uh, a different one. I wonder if the journal my guy was talking about was the apprentice journal. All right. So now I can level up. Oh, all we get is skills. We don't even get a feed or attribute. That's kind of... Uh, unfortunate. All right, stealth, awareness, persuade. Let's keep putting it in the security. You know what? Let's increase security by two just because I haven't been using stealth much. So we're probably good on stealth. You have been granted the following feats with this level. Improve Scoundrel's luck. Okay, so now... I guess we did get a feat. Uh, here, as their skills increase, Scoundrels learn to make the most of their infamous luck, turning the whims of chance into a certain plus four to defense. This feat is always active. This feat replaces Scoundrel's luck. I wonder if there's a third tier. I'll have to look into that. And then we have Sneak Attack 3. And then we can increase our weapon proficiency, I think, in melee, which should help us. Okay, so that gives us 25 defense. Holy shit, we're good now. <laughs> we should be a lot better off now. Even Mission only has 21. So now we are the hardest to hit in our party. So I think what we're going to do is I will return to hideout. And we are going to talk to Mission and Karth. I might have to talk to Mission twice, but we'll do that before we continue on our adventures. But until then, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.